In 1809, President Thomas Jefferson called the plan to build the Erie Canal across the Appalachian mountain chain, little short of madness. He'd watched as fellow Virginian George Washington failed to canalize the Potomac River. That no doubt influenced his thinking greatly. Washington learned that without a sufficient water supply, no canal would ever succeed in crossing the Appalachians. What Jefferson didn't know, though, was that the mountains in New York State had a feature that occurred nowhere else in the entire Appalachian chain. Unlike all the other eastern rivers which flowed from the top of the mountains to the Atlantic, the Mohawk River in New York State started on the west side and flowed across the mountains to the Atlantic. The builders of the Erie Canal stayed close to the river all the way across this region, but it wasn't only about being close to the river. It was about being in the groove that the Mohawk River had cut for them through the mountains, 